Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about the cognitive effects of your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are the stress glands, and you may have heard of the adrenals involved with something called the flight or fight mechanism. Basically, that's a stress state where you're actively fighting or fleeing, running away, and so you have heightened awareness and uh, you have all sorts of um, reactions that occur to prepare your body for stress. So I want to show you something in SIBA, a collection of um, medical illustrations, endocrinology, Frank Netter, um, and page 84. It talks about the effects of one of the adrenal hormones under stress states. It says increase neural excitability. Now what does that mean? It means that on a cognitive function, you are increasing your, your thinkingness a lot. So you're always thinking, 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 thinking. The thoughts no longer become more linear. They're more like popcorn. They kind of come in, kind of disperse. So that's the first thing that occurs under stress. So we have that. And then we get into this excessive problem-solving thing. Now what the body is trying to do is it's, it's putting you in a stress state to solve problems relating to survival. So you're constantly Every second of the day, you're solving problems and even solving non-existent problems just in case they might occur. So a lot of plan Bs, a lot of plan Cs. So that's what's happening. And the problem is that it won't turn off because even when you're sleeping, you got this thing running constantly, going, going, going. Even if you're talking to someone, you're already done with the conversation, ready to move on to the next thing. Um, and then as it progresses, you're, you're going to find that your tolerance to stress is going to go way, way, way down. People might get on your nerves a little bit. So especially to anything that's non-survival, like incompetent people, people that make mistakes, people that make errors, uh, slow people, uh, stupid things that people do will really upset you, and also things that are out of order. So you may even look and go in a room and spot that one little piece of paper on the floor that no one else can see and you have to pick it up and clean it up because your environment has to be very, very orderly. So your attention goes to the non-survival thing, the thing that's out of order more than anything else. So that's one stage right here. And I'm not saying that just because you do that, you have an adrenal problem. Okay, that's my disclaimer. But this could potential, potentially happen under stress states over a long period of time. So because certain personalities, they're they're cleaners, and I'm not saying that's adrenal problems, so you have to differentiate the two. Now, later, when it gets really bad, you start having memory problems, and that has to do with the um, GPS in the brain. There's actually a GPS in the brain. Uh, birds have this structure in the brain. Um, I'm not going to give you the name because it's kind of a medical term, but that's how they're able to locate their self in time and space to fly back to um, the south during the winter months. We have a GPS that helps us locate ourselves in time and space. So the connection to that GPS becomes inhibited with high levels of adrenal stress. And so you start having a lag time of finding out what you were talking about. Like you might be talking like, okay, what am I thinking about? Or where are we going again? or have to backtrack when you go downstairs, or where do we park? Okay, so that could even happen with adrenal stress as well. So again, um, in summary, there are many cognitive effects that can happen with adrenals that are all related to stress states. This is Dr. Berg. I hope this was informative.